Okay, so we've been talking germs and yuck and, and crud this <laughs> afternoon. Here's one that just makes me crazy. Oh, yeah? Don't you hate it when you put dirty dishes into the dishwasher and when you unload them after a cleaning cycle, they're just as dirty, if not dirtier, when you, than when you put them in. Yes, absolutely. Well, dishwashers are supposed to make life easier, but sometimes they're just downright frustrating. In today's Angie's List report, the four secrets to spotless dishes. We rely on our dishwasher to do exactly that, wash our dishes. But as soon as it stops working, panic sets in. Your dishwasher, just like any other appliance you have, does take some care and maintenance along the way to make sure you get the full life out of it. Angie Hicks, founder of Angie's List, has some secrets to cleaner dishes. First, check your detergent. If you have hard water, the only thing you should be using is a powder. A lot of people like to use the tablets or the little packets. And honestly, that is actually too much soap. When using the powder, experts say use as little as possible. And if you have a water softener, go ahead and try the tablets or packets. Step number two, know when to pre-rinse. You should remove any food particles that are larger than the size of a nickel. Other than that, you can stick dishes right in the dishwasher. They really don't need to be pre-rinsed as long as your dishwasher is working well. Too much food can clog the pump assembly, drain lines, or spray arms, which can cause bacteria to breed. Experts say a buildup can prevent dishes from getting properly cleaned. On to the next step, load dishes correctly. If yours is the kind of dishwasher that has one spray arm, you should only stack vertical dishes on the bottom rack. No bowls, no cups on the bottom rack. You leave those up for the top rack. That way, the water spraying around from the bottom spray arm can reach the dishes up top. Now, if you have a dishwasher that has two spray arms, you can pretty much put them in there however you like. You also want to make sure you arrange items so that nothing is touching. Finally, it's important to clean your dishwasher. When you open your dishwasher and you see any white film built up on the inside of the dishwasher, that tells me that you really need to have your dishwasher cleaned. Um, you can do that yourself. There are several different products you can buy at the grocery store. Angie says that's especially true if you have hard water. Many people may not realize the kind of buildup that you can get from the hard water minerals that can deposit in your dishwasher, and that needs to be clean to make sure your dishwasher operates properly. Angie says dishwashers can last up to 13 years. So when should you repair and when should you replace? She says if a repair will cost more than half the cost of the new appliance and the unit is more than six or seven years old, it might be time to buy new. And Angie says the average price of a service call ranges from 60 to $100. That doesn't include parts and labor, but she says many companies will deduct their call charge if hired to make the needed repairs. That would make sense. Okay, so now we know how to clean the kitchen and everything in it, right? Or do we? How's that kitchen floor looking? The ads claim the Hurricane 360 spin mop system cuts cleaning time in half and spins the dirt away. We're going to give it a whirl next when we put it to the test. Plus, show mom just how much you love her this Mother's Day, how you can enter our Mother's Day giveaway. Plus, we'll announce today's lucky winner. But first, we just talked about dirty dishes. Rachel Ray has a handy how-to tip on one dish you definitely want to make sure is clean. Let me show you something. If your garlic looks like this when you're trying to cook, if it gets crispy at the edges or past light golden in color, it is burned. You must throw it away. There is no fix. It will never get better. Not only that, you can't just wipe the pan out. You must wash the pan. The pan is porous and will retain the bitterness of the burnt garlic. So start from scratch and don't throw it in with the oil too hot. Start with a little lower flame and I promise you, you'll fall in love with garlic. 